You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, Bowman, Bowman Outdoors. To Bowman Outdoors. Um, you can probably tell by the big smile on my face <laughs> and the uh, shaking heads on, uh, on Logan's face. Uh, this is part two of the slug power kit comparison. So um, what we've done, so slug, oh sorry, you can't see this, but there is a, on your right, whatever, um, this gun, my gun, has a slug power kit. We installed the slug power kit a week ago, and uh, in video one, there'll be a link in the description, but we, uh, we just shot it with the exact same tune that had in it and we had an increase of about 18 feet per second and 19 feet, feet per second on uh, the two different slugs. That was without like tuning. That With was just no the tuning. difference between Sh no slug. Straight, kit. straight switch out. And uh, we're still shooting the 33.5. Uh, Nielsen specialty. Nielsen specialty and the much heavier, I say much heavier, 38.9 slugs dish based uh, on those also from Nielsen special NSA slugs um, oh one more thing that we did so that was the first video and we gained 19 feet per second right and then we went in and added these digital um, let me hit the button here I'll show you a close up later I'll film some stuff I don't know show. if you can even see it yeah is it on yeah the the digital uh, gauge for regulator two that one was uh, brought to you by Spall. Yes, yeah, Spall sent us over uh, two digital Gauges and then we ordered some uh, Angled mounts yep. so that we I, can uh, I ordered them. those so that will in a future video We'll move those up and do the angled but right. anyway we'll show you these digital gauges man. They're so sweet though. So they are so shout sweet. out to Ken for sending us those yep And then so that was video one we came back We've tuned both of these guns almost identically. Um, Logan switched his gun over to the slug mode. So I rotated the S my down. yeah my barrel 90 degrees to so have S down on the barrel. Both barrels are the same. Uh, regulator one on mine is 190, and Logan's right at 190. 195. Um, yeah, 190. And then regulator two, I'm at 155. I'm at 155, 156, pretty much okay. the exact same. Uh, so we've got the same. And then we're still rocking 16 on the macro and then four on the micro adjusters. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah. I'm down to, I'm on the eight. He was for the slower. For the uh, lighter slugs. Lighter slugs. But so, he's still on 16, four for the heavy slugs. Yep, sure did. Um, <clears throat> so we're we'll, about line four on the valve adjuster too. So yep. it's pretty much the same thing all on the quick adjusters, but just, uh, Main one is the regulator too, and it's really nice to tune that with these digital gauges because you can see exactly what you're rocking with. So. Yep, I'm making myself some notes because that looks professional. It looks like I know what I'm doing. Oh, um, 155 on reg two, line four on the valve. Um, I'm like four plus like one half or one quarter rotation. So the set screw went from the side to the top uh, beyond number four but uh, still very close and then the power wheel 16 and micro is at four right so now we'll shoot it and let you guys see the results so hopefully you'll see uh, I'm a spoiler smiles. Alert. <laughs> it's it's spoiler for this video I would have made the argument that the slug power kit didn't do much until we saw the results it's it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Definitely worth the 40 bucks and the time to install. It's oh. actually like, it's pretty crazy. You'll see. Um, that's funny too, because we had that whole conversation and you're like, ah, I don't I, know. I, I don't told know. him, I was like, I might not install it. It might not do enough, but it's, I'm um, about to go install it. He's mine. been pouting ever since. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. But we'll so, show you the results. You'll see. Let's go. All right, let's All go. Right. Oh. Okay, guys, just a recap. 16, four, a little bit past line four on the valve adjuster. 155, 190. I think that's about that's it, it for the tune. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna make um, sure you can see the iPad. It's kind of hard to see, but I think you can see. Okay. Well, this is the 30... 38.9. 38.9. And what do we shoot that one at? 956.
And just uh, just to make it clear, this is the gun that has the slug power kit installed. Yes. Without the rubber ball and the valve adjuster. Yeah. Mine has the stickers on it on the tank. <laughs> and the cooler bipod. Nine fifty six, nine fifty six, nine fifty eight. So as you can tell, we're shooting these quite a bit faster. I think in the okay. first video we were doing what? With uh, the heavier slugs. Eight thirty four. Eight thirty four. So over a hundred feet per second with the tune and the slug power kit. Yeah, one hundred and twenty feet per second. Yeah. One hundred and twenty four feet per second. <clears throat> Okay, let's switch it around well, to yours. I was gonna oh. shoot mine next. Oh. So now I wanna show y'all what happens. Hold on. I wish the front screen was like always on. Yeah, there's probably a mode that will make it always on. Yeah, it probably eats up your battery. Yeah. Okay, so next I want to just show like a comparison between the non-slug power gun and the slug power gun. So we'll go ahead and switch over to that. I'll just put it like that. Yeah. There's probably no difference. Yeah. No, no difference. No at difference. All. So same slugs, still shooting the 38.9 38 Nielsen Specialty. Same exact tune. Rocking 155, 195. I mean, the difference in there is nothing. And then 16, 4, and 4. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and lower me down just a touch. <laughs> 814, what happened? <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> I think that's that's all you need to see for Hold that. On. Let's show them the lighter ones. The lighter ones? Yeah, the okay. lighter pellets. I was just gonna I was just gonna <laughs> recap that. Man, this slug power kit makes a huge difference. It's well actually worth absurd. the money. Whenever I was shooting my barrel when it was still uh it was P down instead of the slug down, I was getting like uh what like 10 less feet feet per second yeah, so it really doesn't you gained about 10, 10. feet per second yeah that's Switching exactly around. what you did but nowhere close to what the slug power kit's doing so we can go ahead and uh as a side note when i had the uh the chrono set backwards yeah. i was still shooting faster than that he had the chrono shooting he had the chrono on backwards shooting faster than mine was with the chrono oh. facing forward now hold on let me uh the cool thing about this this pocket chrono from FX, this is the FX pocket chrono that we're using, um, works really well uh, for for this type of application. I don't think I would trust it for our six fives, but um, you can just take off the rubber band, put it on another gun, and we're still going. Yeah, it's um, really convenient. It is. Sure. Okay, so now we're shooting the 33.5 flat base NSA ammo. Right, all the exact same tune, nothing changed. Haven't, haven't touched a, anything on the tunes, but I'm going to, after we get started, I'll shoot two, two or three for you guys. A thousand twenty-five, holy. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna pop this down to eight. Okay, so power wheel's now at eight. Oh, power wheel, I just went to six. Six, gotcha. I think that's where I, I liked it better. Yeah, I think this is gonna put you right around 960, correct? This is at a six on the power wheel. Six on the power wheel puts you 930. Uh, I mean, we could go to seven. Oh, I already cooked it, hold <laughs> on. Can't go up in the power wheel once you've got them. Yeah. Okay, so you're up at seven? I'm at seven. On the power wheel. That's exactly where I think I want to be shooting these guys. Yeah. And this tune um, was uh, sent to us by Ken at Spa. He recommended 200 front regulator, 160 back regulator, 16 macro, 4.5 micro. 
for the 43 grain NSAs. So we went ahead and adjusted the tune a little bit for the lighter. Yeah, we went we went down for the lighter and all you can see the power wheel between seven was at 960. I go back up to 16 and, and that velocity jumps right back up there. We probably won't get as many shots as we'd like, but uh, well worth um, shooting at the velocities. And now we can play with those ranges um, with accuracy, which will be coming up shortly. Um, but probably not until we install Logan's slug power kit because, well, he just is still, you know. I, I don't want him to say I have an unfair advantage when we start doing uh, contests. Yeah. Well, you have any, are you filling up the, are these the lighter ones? Yeah, that's the lighter ones. Okay, I was just going to shoot some of these lighter ones in my gun real quick to show. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. You can get the full... Yeah. So honestly, I feel like I'm I'm shooting pretty similar velocities to what I was before the tune. So I think uh, with this tune without the slug power kit, I'm pretty much just wasting air. Oh, very yeah, very likely. Yeah, I think I'm like I think I'm over tuned without the uh, that extra airflow that the uh, slug power kit provides. Okay, so you're shooting the 35, <clears throat> 33.5. What was it? Uh, I always forget. I should like have these memorized by now. Yeah. 33.5s. 33.5s. Yeah. Same tune. Haven't changed anything. Yeah, this is a continuous shot video, so they know we didn't change yeah. the regulator. Well, I've seen some things. Like, apparently, there's been like a lot of people who have been like kind of faking like accuracy tests on these. So I kind of want to keep it running. Yeah. That's. That's. Yeah. Oh, you got to 884. 884. Yeah, that's not bad. That's higher than we were shooting before the tune. Higher velocity. Yeah, definitely higher velocities, but you can tell, like... Mm, you can tell that mine gets down there much quicker. Much quicker, yeah. It's a little harder. All right. Oh, I guess we can do the closing, too. It's one big, long video. Yeah. Jeez, people are going to say, wow, they did that one heads up, straight up. Yeah. All right, so... Uh, yeah, we're not, oh, sorry, let me sit up straight, tall. Yeah. We're not uh, professional photographers, cinem or cinematographer, shooters. or shooters. Any type of shooting, <laughs> shooting camera, <laughs> shooting guns, not professionals. Not professionals. But I do think we we added some insight. Yep. I think, uh, I think the slug power kits are definitely worth it. I'm about to go throw mine in. Not too hard of an install. You can find some, I definitely recommend watching videos on YouTube. If you want us to make you guys a video, well, once the power kit's done, there's, there's other, we, we'd rather shoot and yeah. do things that are that are shooting. But um, again, uh, some key notes on installing it though, is that rear pellet pin probe, uh, getting that screw right. And then the ball didn't help me, but we'll see on Logan's. Um, and I may try it again after the tune, but I'm not all that worried, but I like where it's shooting. So I don't, I don't yeah. need the ball. We had to do some research because right after we installed the slug power kits, he was down like a hundred oh, yeah, feet it's horrible. per second. Yeah, it's horrible. So I did some research, saw that some people were saying that the ball was really like slowing them down. So we took that out and we were, we were up golden. and firing again. So yeah. again, um, big shout out and thanks to Spa Ken Hicks over at Spa Weapons. Um, it this isn't necessarily a sponsored video, but he did help us out with uh, these cool digital gauges. Which are very much recommended if you're gonna be tuning like this. It, oh, was, yeah. it was like, getting exact tunes like this was so much easier with these it digital gauges. It was awesome. And, and you could actually tune it in one or two bar increments if you wanted to. Um, I don't shoot that well yet, if you needed. But the micro wheel would do that too, so never mind. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the guns came from SPA. Um, SPAW weapons, um, SPA weapons. SPA uh, weapons. Yeah, SPA weapons.com. SPW weapons. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Continue this is why there. no one will sponsor us um, full out. No oh. one's like, we're not, no, I'm not wasting my money for that crap. Um, anyway, big shout out to him. That's where we got the, the, uh, the guns. Both guns came from him. The power uh, kits. Yeah, the power kits. All the Sabre Tactical accessories as well. 
and then we've got a uh, carbon fiber tank on the way. It is somewhere between Florida and here uh, in the back of a UPS truck. So can't wait to, to be able to refill these things from that uh, big, big tank. Yeah. Uh, and then a few other little accessories, bag riders, stuff like that. So yeah. um, we'll go ahead and uh, leave some links in the description to like the slug power kit and stuff like that. Some yeah. things around that we're using on our guns. Yep. And uh, in the description, you're going to put our tune. Also. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the tune that Ken sent us for the little bit heavier 43 point something grain slugs that he's shooting. And then I'll put it in the ones that this tune that we're using right now for our yep. 38.9 yep. grain slugs. 38.9 uh, and the 33.5. Um, because of the power wheel, we can dial down to that slug really quickly and easily and still shoot the same speed, same velocity. Um, but next up, we're going to have to start going back to, to accuracy. We'll, right. we'll go back into an accuracy video and show you how each one of them group um, and then get them back out the, to 100, 200, 300 yards. Yeah, that's the importance of like getting these nice tunes and getting the velocities where you want them is finding that, that velocity range for your gun that you want to be shooting at. So that's kind of next up is once we... Once we get my slug power kit in, we'll start adjusting the velocities and seeing how those groupings look at different velocities. Yep. So we're off to go install another slug power kit. And uh, like, subscribe, let us know what you think. Give us suggestions in the comments to make our, uh, our videos better. We've been working on the audio piece of it for sure. Um, or let us know what kind of videos you want to see. All right. All right. Love, Love you, dude. You, dude. Adios. <laughs> I want a slug power.